Hello, um, I'm going to talk a bit about um, harmonics, but not normal harmonics, because I've already done a video on harmonics, uh, that was my fretless uh, lesson. I'm going to talk a bit about artificial harmonics. Now these are a bit trickier. Um, there are a couple of ways of doing them. Um, uh, firstly, it, uh, the easiest way that I use is um, your thumb. You take the side of your thumb, that's up, this side of your thumb, here, rest it on the string. You take your fingernail, your first finger, and then you lift them off at the same time. Okay, and now you want to roughly be playing in between the two pickups. If you've got two pickups in between them, if you've only got one, closer to the bridge, the bridge side of you, of your pickup. If you've only got one, if you've got two in between, um, and of course you can play them at different areas across the bridge. But let's let's just focus. That's the hardest one there, especially if you've got short nails like me. It hurts your fingers, but we'll start. We'll focus on in between the two pickups. Okay. Um, so I'll explain through that again. Try and do it more close. Okay. You get your finger. Place the nail on the string. Rest your thumb. And on the string, and then. Pluck at the same time. Okay. No, they, they they were open harmonics. Okay, with no um left hand. If we involve the left hand, so I do this on the um. The reason I'm doing in between in between the the two pickups is because you get a that's your major third there of each string so your G sharp, your C sharp your F sharp and your B respectively so your E becomes a G sharp a becomes C sharp, D becomes an F sharp, and G becomes a B. Just think of the fourth fret basically, you're fretting the fourth fret. There. Okay, um, again I hope this is um, thoroughly explained. Another thing, before I continue, is to use your bridge pickup. Okay, now the reason you use your bridge pickup is because you get a lot more um, tone out of it and a lot more treble. So turn your neck pickup off, your bridge pickup on and your tone control on full. So you want those two controls on full. If you've only got the one, you haven't got tone, um, then yeah. Your bridge pickup on, neck pickup off, tone control on full. Okay? Um, so what you can do is you use what I just showed you. Thumb and then you finger nail on the string, except if we start, um, we just do a major scale on one string. Not really very exciting. That's quite close. That's over the um, bridge pickup there. Okay, uh, and then you uh, can apply the same thing again 
to anything, to chords, um, arpeggios, yeah. just a kind of, you know, like a little showpiece to experiment with, um... So that's a D. Yeah, so play them normally. Just strum them here, normal, and then harmonics, and that is pretty much closer to the bridge pickup than it is to the neck pickup. But again, experiment anywhere along, right the way from the end of the um, fretboard right the way up to the bridge, just by moving your thumb and your finger. Now, so you kind of hook. Remember, hook your. Uh, fingernail under under the string okay and uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a little thing that you can about with then I would say it's more of a flashy kind of technique I don't use it very often at all it's not really needed unless you're really doing a solo or um, you know starting something and then the trickiest thing is to be able to play in the um, the same place at the same time and that just takes practice, you know, um, playing at the same pitch because you alter the pitch here as well as here. Um, whereas with normal harmonics, they're natural harmonics. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter where you. Um, Where you where you play on the you still get that kind of um, rich sound, whereas with with these uh, artificial harmonics, which are the equivalent, I would say, of uh, well, of pinch harmonics on electric guitar, um, yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot thinner sound. So a lot of play. I mean, the the most famous I would say is Billy Sheenan. He uses distortion over his. Um, if I can show you quickly with my distortion pedal, show you the difference. Right, this is with distortion on. See, there's a lot more resonance. That kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, that's another thing to um, consider. Again, one of those techniques that's not really widely used, um, but just another one that I thought I'd show you. Um, see whether you like it or not. Um, muck about with it, and yeah, and, and, and most importantly, have fun with it.